All right, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about system memory in Mac OS X, as well as showing you some ways to determine if you actually really need more RAM for your system. So let's begin. So what I've done for the purposes of this demonstration is I've taken out the stock, uh, or I've taken out the two gigs of RAM that I normally run with, and um, I've gone back to the stock configuration of 512 megs of RAM that came with my MacBook. Okay. And what you can do is you can open up Activity Monitor, and if you go down and if you click on System Memory, you'll notice that OS 10 will give you a more thorough breakdown on how it's using your your RAM compared to say Windows Task Manager. Okay, and it's going to give you a nice pie chart, and it's going to show you some things such as wired memory, active memory, free free memory and page-ins and page-outs. So to briefly go over what some of this means, um, we'll start with wired RAM. Okay. Now wired RAM is essentially a system memory that the operating system always needs to have a physical chunk of. Okay. So in the case of Tiger, and in the case of my first generation MacBook, OS X is always going to need 150 megs of RAM in order for it to operate properly. Okay, and for example, um, you know it's going to use it for certain uh, system processes such as the kernel, the Windows Server, um, metadata services, which means Spotlight, uh, the dock, the file server, uh, security and configuration, as well as launch daemons. Okay, so basically any background services that the operating system needs just to be content just to show you things like the menu bar drawing windows to the screen drawing the dock uh, creating expose things of that nature all of that is going to count towards wired memory and that's what OS 10 needs in order for it to just function boot and run properly okay so right now that's using 150 megs okay Underneath that we have active memory. And active memory is basically any processes that you start up yourself. So for example, I can come to, come down here, start up terminal, start up my file transfer and client, Fugu, or I can come back and start up Camino, for example. Okay. And what you'll see is that when I come back, active memory was uh, I don't know, maybe 80 megs before, and now it's gone up to 101 megs. So basically, any user created programs, processes, command line in the background, it's going to go against active memory. Okay? And these two I really don't concern myself with inactive and used RAM. But then, of course, you have free memory, and you have page ins and page outs. Now, there's two numbers to look at here, or two items. You have page ins, and I'm not really certain what page ins does, but the one that I am concerned about with is page outs. And a page out means that the operating system has run out of RAM, and in that instance, it needs to go to the swap file on your hard drive and use your hard drive uh, as the swap file to page out to send things out of physical memory, transfer it to the hard drive, and that's a page out. So that is, that's what that means. And if you see a, a lot of page outs occurring, then that's one clue to signal that you might need more RAM. Okay? So, to continue on with this point, there is a command line option that you can run. And to determine from the command line just how much your, of your swap file is being used, at least in uh, Tiger that I know of, you type it in, you type in sysctl, oops, sysctl space vm, okay? And when you type that in, it's going to give you a general overview as to your current swap file usage. So right now, on disk, the swap file is six, 64 megs in size, 
I haven't gone out and I, and I haven't used any of that virtual memory so nothing's being used on that swap file size so that's a good thing and generally speaking if you have enough memory you never want to see the swap file size go above 64 megs but what you can do is if you have a limited amount of memory or if you're just running out of RAM you're going to see that that swap file is going to grow and it's going to grow dynamically and this is where people will run into issues if they don't have enough RAM okay so I'm going to take a few seconds and I'm going to start up you know a bunch of programs and we're going to see what happens to what to the swap file size as you run out of RAM as the swap file grows on disk and we're just going to see the impact on performance it has all right so what I've done here is I've loaded up my uh, MacBook with some with typical application usage and this is sometimes how I normally run with my laptop going okay so I have a uh, Firefox open with a couple of tabs open as you can see and then if you come back down here to the dock I have my email client running in the background iTunes for music uh, Eclipse for coding uh, a couple of terminal windows open uh, as you can see for like testing and stuff okay so a couple terminal windows I have my uh, FTP client open Fugu so I have Fugu um, and normally I like to have Azurius just to run in the background or maybe transmission but sometimes I use Azurius keep that going and of course I have I'm back to activity monitor also okay so that's uh, that's actually somewhat uh, typical as to like how I run with my laptop that's just the number of things I have open at any give, given moment sometimes okay and if we come back here and if we look at my system memory profile now I've basically destroyed all my free system memory I've gone down to about 8 megs RAM free and if you look at those uh, page ins and page outs I have 22,463 page outs that have occurred and this is just from a normal day's usage using my Mac okay so if I chose to uh, continue to run with 512 megs of RAM what would happen is that over time performance would degrade and I would have to constantly swap from physical memory back out to disk and you know that's where you're going to see the slowdowns and once again if we run the uh, the command line again so if we go sys uh, yeah so sys control or whatever sys CTO VM now if we look at my swap file usage what we'll see is that my swap file has grown from 64 megs to 512 megs okay so that means just even by reducing the amount of RAM I have the amount of physical disk space I have is going to dwindle it's going to go down because the swap file is growing and right now that's 512 megs of disk space that's unavailable not available to me anymore and you'll see that out of that I have 270 megs is actually being used so this just goes to show you just the importance of RAM in your system and this is this is actually the good way to determine how much your system is going to benefit from having more memory going from one gig to two gigs yeah you might see a difference I have a gig in my Mac mini it's not bad I mean I really don't notice any difference so I'd say if you're just going to run OS 10 on your system you can get by with one gig but if you are going to do anything super heavy duty such as motion aperture Photoshop I'd say two gigs is the minimum and get four if you can if your system supports it all right so that's OS 10 system memory usage um, hope you enjoyed it all right that's about it peace